Hello everyone, this is Zoltar and welcome back to our Offworld Trading Company scientific campaign. Now, unfortunately, we're not starting where we left off. Uh, the recording of the last mission I did kind of failed. Honestly, it was kind of boring. What ended up happening was there were a couple of natural power shorts. Power got ridiculously expensive. We put down four solar panels next to our base with Superconductor and we bought everybody out after making a quarter of a million on power from sitting at like five to six K power income a second for a very short period of time. And that was the whole game. It was pretty boring. So I'm sorry you missed it, but it wasn't honestly that big a deal, hopefully. That said, I'm gonna try and make sure nothing goes wrong with these future recordings so we can see everything. Unfortunately, the last one basically ended up un unplayable. It was just unwatchable. Okay. That's all out of the way. Let's get to the actual video. Over here, we can see in the labor pool, we've got a glass furnace and elemental quarry. Those are very, very tempting to me. Very tempting indeed to pick those up, but let's check out what we have available for missions. Uh, I should note, out of the last mission, I got this fuel shipment. Shipment of 40 fuel when upgrading HQ. So uh, kind of nice, not that big a deal at the end of the day, in my opinion. Okay, no off-world market, free wind turbine, income plus 20. We're probably not doing this mission. No engineering lab, unlock scientific. We don't really want that mission either. Both of these are garbage. Both of these are actually garbage. I guess we'll take the free wind turbine. We probably don't need off-world to win, right? Like, honestly, we don't really need the off-world to win. So, I guess we'll just take the free wind turbine and use it as a, a tile that's next to our base for a thing or something, I guess. Uh, keeping that in mind, it's actually very tempting just to grab up a pleasure dome. I think what we might do is grab a pleasure dome, glass furnace, and elemental quarry. That uses up our money very nicely, and it gives us a thing to put in that tile. Sometimes, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and review real quick what my perks are before we start the mission, because I kind of forgot about one during the last mission. I forgot I had teleportation. So let's see, I'm playing scientific. I get a free solar panel. I get a free patent lab. I have teleportation. I get a fuel shipment when upgrading, and I get an aluminum shipment when upgrading. Okay, that should do it. Let's get to the mission. Okay, looking Medium around. Levels of silicon found. Low oh, I do also want to note one reason that other one was Blue. exceptionally boring that will be was useful. because I found an Low amazing starting place found. that was just a bunch of... Low levels of carbon okay, found. we found some water. That's good High levels of water found. It was just like this, except High with water next to it as well. Found. It was stupid. Do we go ahead and found? found? I think we still wait. There's only one other person. We'll just wait for him to found. Keep looking around until then. See, here's another t pretty decent spot for us. That can work. Keep looking. More water. More silicon. Not bad. Okay. Oh, here we go. See, here's another great spot. Right over here with plenty of silicon off in this corner. So we'll just take one of them after he founds. Whatever works. Whatever works at the end of the day. We can be patient. We need that extra claim because we're playing on executive. All right, there he is. Where did he found? Over here. So let's go ahead and found up here in this little part of the the game for ourselves. What an excellent location for a lab. Well done on finding it. Now then. The day is ticking, and there is much research Plenty to be done. steel, and let's grab. Medium levels of aluminum found. Take glass furnace. Do we want to grab it? Yeah, we want to grab a glass furnace. I think that's fine. Oh no, he's actually... Shoot. He's probably going for that one. Don't let him have it. Yeah, get out of here, jerk. It's my water tiles. Can't have them. Go take these ones. Go take this one, right here. That's your water tile. You enjoy it. Okay, we're obviously going to want to hit the black market as fast as we can. Uh, do we just take Superconductor? It's kind of tempting. It's only $820. We can just like sell off a bunch of iron and get Superconductor. Let's go ahead and sell our life support as well. All that stuff that we don't really need. Don't want to upgrade yet. We want black market first. If we can pull it off. There we go. That's just enough. The black market Aha. is online. Got it. Got that claim. Okay. Let's go ahead and put up a water pump for the time being. That's okay, I think. And now we'll look to upgrade. We just need not very much. We won't sell the... Do we sell the carbon? 
one. Nah, we'll hold on to carbon for now. Two. That's fine. Stop it. Go away. Computers don't fight for claims very hard for the debt. It's very interesting. I think they should go a little bit harder, maybe. But I guess we're only on executive difficulty, not like CEO or anything like that, so maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Okay, we got Superconductor for $800. That's well worth it, in my opinion. And let's just look at getting these glass furnaces down now. Still no metal mine, by the way. Still have never seen a metal mine pop up this whole time. Which is my only kind of annoyance with this current campaign run. This fact that we're completely dependent on everybody else for aluminum. This guy doesn't even have aluminum income. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Do I want nanotech? Probably not. It's really good, again, but I don't need it, you know? The black mark is off to steal. Upgrade. Is surpassing my most optimistic projections. Star auto supply. Get these extra glass furnaces down. I guess we can start food production, since that's shorting out. First though, sell all the things, get the claim. Where's that mutiny? On my power? Oh. I can't do anything about that because I just, I literally just used the black market, so I just kind of have to deal with it. Alright. Do I want slant drilling is kind of the question right now. How much would it cost me? 4000 That might be worthwhile. There's not a lot of water going on. I'd like to be able to kind of hold on to the water I have already. Is there water under this tile? No. Okay. Couldn't remember where all the resources were. But we look, we look good. So why don't I just do some of this for the moment? I could actually just throw down extra water stuff over here, I guess. Which is kind of tempting. Keep it further away. We're against a scavenger who's going to be black marketing us as often as he can get away with. The black market is online. So keeping that in mind, why don't I go ahead and just throw a reactor down here whenever I put it up. Yeah, I think that's fine. Scrap this for the time being. A little more food down. Iron short. Nothing really to do about that. He's finally pulling in aluminum. Hopefully that will drag the aluminum price down. I still hate having no recourse against that other than the hacker array. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Keep bidding. Thousand. Six, How much money is he sitting on? A bit, but I'm still not too worried about seven, him actually going thousand, after us yet. Eight, thousand, nine, thousand. The question is, how bad is this short going to be? Is it going to so, be worth switching into iron mines bad? I don't know. I just don't know at this point. And I'm not too worried about it because my opponent doesn't have any iron income either, right? He can, but he doesn't. Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad. We'll just leave it as is. I think he just sold off whatever his starting iron amount was in response to it. Which is totally acceptable. And now we're just kind of waiting. We're just waiting for some resources. I guess we can get another reactor down. Not a bad idea. And this aluminum price is just insane. Just insane. One option I have is to just not expand and just go for the kill pretty fast. How much do I need? He's got, does he get, is he at the full 10 stock? I think he is. Maybe it's nine. Maybe it's nine stock. It's pretty close. That said, that means I'll probably need about 90,000 to take him out right now. And I'm only sitting on 30. So I either wait until I have that amount and then I go for it or, or well, nothing. Or I can try and upgrade and get a hacker right down and kind of speed things up a bit. Oh man, and there's an aluminum short. That's ridiculous. Alright, we'll buy into that because he probably doesn't have a whole lot of aluminum stored up. Try and make our big pile of money bigger. How many resources? Yeah, we're sitting at almost 50k now. That's not too bad. Maybe we can just go for it. We can also mutiny this. That's certainly worth noting. Boop. Thank you. Too valuable a resource to be ignoring at the moment. 
Uh, steel's obviously completely useless now. It's all about that aluminum. Quite frustrating. Oh yeah, I can't build iron mines. What am I talking about? I have to leave out my steel mills. <sighs> Campaign. This is my problem with you. Uh, let's see. I think we need to upgrade. At least teleportation's working in our favor for this mutiny, right? Skiffy Maybe we can just sit on this mutiny. Maybe we actually just do this. Take him most of the way down. Sit on this one tile, bringing in all kinds of cash, and just wait. And kill him. Maybe that's the best approach for this mission. This mission's so awkward. I want a metal mine so bad. I don't care. I don't even care where it is. I don't care how much he pays for it. Sell more. Bye bye. We only need like 7,000 to finish up the game. So it's all going to be about this mutiny on this single aluminum tile our opponent has because our opponent is not thinking because it is a computer. Frankly, here's, here's the thing. In my opinion, this is a weird opinion I know for a lot of people, but this game kind of expresses why I have this opinion. Aluminum is the single most important resource in this game. The single most important resource in this game. It is the most crucial to have access to. Because, here's the thing. If you get squeezed out of the aluminum market, you're done. You're dead. If somebody can get control of that market, if they get a monopoly, and if they just drive that aluminum price high, you can't do anything. You can't expand you can't put down buildings without paying through the nose for it. It's just like once that aluminum price gets up there to like 80 or $100, it just slows your expansion to a halt and you're stuck with whatever you've committed to. And so that had better be strong or you're just going to fall down. It's that simple. Aluminum's so important. So important. That's why it was great that we were able to get that mutiny off and actually just push forward to win the game instead of being in a situation where there was a random aluminum short that was going to cause us major problems. I love how we won the game at a lower stock price. That just amuses me. You can do that. Stock isn't everything. Because we had all that debt, but ah oh man. It's just so ridiculous. So ridiculous. We made we bought a lot of aluminum into the short, but we also sold a lot of aluminum. We probably made what? Like a good Ten to 15,000 on that short. We made some money on steel, some money on glass. It was a pretty standard game, all things considered. Nothing really weird going on. It was just a really standard game that we happened to clean up instantly because of that aluminum issue that was going on. And the fact that our opponent didn't secure any at the start of the game for whatever reason would have been a lot more difficult, by the way, if he had had a stockpile when that short hit because we wouldn't have been able to commit into it. We wouldn't have been able to mutiny him so easily because he would have had more aluminum secured. You gotta secure some aluminum, like no matter what, in every single regular multiplayer game I play. Like, always claim an aluminum tile. Period. <sighs> A good illustration, for my opinion, on why aluminum is so important, though. Very nice little campaign mission. Very, very short mission. But honestly, it kind of shows you, you don't have to play a long game. You can just win. Sometimes you can just win. Make sure you're just winning when you can win. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time.